Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the third installment of the Man Crates DIY Man's Best Friend Knife Kit. Today we're gonna to epoxy the bolsters to the blade, the handle to the blade, and we'll begin finalizing the rough shape of the handle and the bolsters. Now this may be the last episode of this series, so be sure to stay tuned to the end of the episode to see what the final knife looks like. All right, to start, we're going to epoxy the bolsters to the knife. Now, I've also got my Dremel out here. Uh, once we've got the bolsters epoxied, we're going to uh, Dremel off the excess uh, pins here that hold the bolsters in place, and we're going to clamp it with a, a little C-clamp uh, to make sure that that epoxy cures and the bolsters are firmly attached to the knife. So let's go ahead, we're gonna start by mixing up some of the uh, two-ton epoxy that was provided. I'm gonna mix it in the cup here and I've got a toothpick to help me do that as well. Now, I'm also going to put on a pair of gloves, okay. So we're gonna apply a little bit of this into here. I'm gonna put the caps back on. I've got my toothpick to mix it. I'm going to apply it directly onto the bolster like this. Okay. Take this bolster place it in like that. We're gonna get these pins fairly close to this side. We'll sand those down uh, when we finalize the knife. And our second bolster here. Now, it's close fitting, but I'm gonna take my Dremel here. So I've got those trimmed down. I'm gonna take this C-clamp. We'll clamp this in place and we're gonna let this cure. Then we'll come back and work on the handle. It's been 24 hours since we put the bolsters on the knife. We're gonna take it out of the clamp, uh, check it out, clean up the little bit of epoxy that is around it, and then we're gonna work on getting one of the sides of the handles epoxied on. All right, nice fit here on both sides. Everything looks really good. There's actually not much epoxy on either side here. Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of sandpaper and sand that up and we'll work on the handle. All right, that should be nice and clean right there. So that's what we're gonna be looking at right there. And we're gonna epoxy this on, clamp it, and then once it cures, we're gonna put holes in for the tang uh, pieces. Now I'm gonna spread this liberally all over the tang. We can clean up whatever we don't use but I really wanna make sure that we get a nice coat on here so that the handle holds and we don't have any failures in the future. You can see I got a real good amount on there. I'm gonna take the handle piece and I'm actually gonna set it on just like this. Uh, 
So now we've got it here. I've got it butted right up against the bolster. Got enough there. I'm gonna use my clamp. Now you can use the vise that is provided with this uh, if you don't have a C-clamp. Uh, because I'm not using that vise, I'm just gonna use the C-clamp. And there we have it. So it's nice and flush here. We've got plenty on both sides to shape, and that'll be how we do it. So okay. cure time is about eight hours. Uh, we'll come back, drill holes for the pins, and then we will put the second part of the handle on so that we can begin shaping. So it's been about eight hours. The epoxy on the one side should be completed. So we're gonna take it out of this clamp. We're going to drill the holes on this side, and then we're going to epoxy the second part of the handle. Let's get this out. We've got a nice sturdy hold there. So we're gonna go ahead and drill the holes. We'll wait another eight hours, let this cure. Then we're gonna drill holes from this side all the way through and attach these pins with epoxy. 8.01 p.m. We've got our handle attached firmly. Uh, the final epoxy step is going to be to epoxy these pins uh, into the handle. Now in order to do that, we've gotta drill two more holes and then epoxy, we're gonna let that sit for uh, overnight, and then tomorrow we're gonna come back and actually uh, shape the wood. So let's go ahead and get this clamp off, and we'll work on drilling the holes. Our pins are in, our handle is attached, our bolsters are attached and pinned. So tomorrow we're gonna come back and we'll start shaping all that. You'll actually see it next. And we're back after all the epoxy has cured on the brass bolsters, on the handle and on the pins, we're actually ready to start shaping the wood handle. Now, I did off camera do a little bit of the shaping of the brass bolsters. I uh, trimmed down the pins and kind of cleaned this brass up, shaped it a little bit, uh, just because with the brass, it takes so long to do. Um, we're gonna do the wood. Uh, we're gonna do a lot of time lapse. So I uh, hope you guys are along for the ride and you'll see the finished product here in a little bit.
So it was at this point that I decided that we needed to break out the power tools and get this job done. Six hours later. All right, so I finally got the generic shape of the knife and you can see it here. And uh, it actually turned out really well. So now I'm gonna go through with some fine sandpaper, sand it down, get it smooth. We're going to continue this and uh, do a little bit more time-lapse. Stay tuned. All right, so it's all nice and sanded. Let's take the uh, tape off of the blade here. All right, so there we have it, guys. That is the man's best friend DIY knife kit from Man Crates. This is gonna be almost the finished product. Uh, this is where I'm gonna end this series, but you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna polish up this brass. Uh, it does come with a wood finish that I will probably put on um, here in the future, but. For now, I'm, I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Um, yeah. So I do have a couple of tips when it comes to the DIY knife. Is that the wood that they give you on this, uh, definitely, if you can, take a table saw and rip it in half. Um, I sanded down a really good amount of wood that didn't necessarily need to be sanded down. Uh, without the Dremel and the sanding uh, pieces with that, it probably would have taken me hours upon hours. Um, this alone was uh, four and a half, five hours just to do this. So definitely make sure you get as much wood off as you can, even before you put it on to the handle. Uh, the second thing is the brass takes a long time. Be patient with it. Um, you would get it to look good. And I think I made this look pretty good. Um, you know, it's not perfect by any means, but I'll polish it up. And I think you won't even be able to tell that there's any scratches or anything on it. Um, other than that, I had a great time with this kit. Uh, I'm gonna look into Man Crate's additional kits. I know there's a watch making kit, so I really wanna do it. Um, I hope you guys like this series. I hope you guys like the DIY aspect of this. If you did, comment below. Let me know what other DIY projects you'd like to see. Subscribe for additional content. And we'll see you guys later.